Are you looking for a way to create a voice channel app? Of course! In this video series, we're gonna build a simple version of apps like Discord or Slack with Flutterflow. Let's get started. Here, um, we're gonna use Flutterflow and Agora. Flutterflow is one of the best local solutions to build apps without knowing anything about coding. And it also uh, supports adding custom code, so it will be super handy, especially in this app. And Agora is a powerful and quick way to outsource the server side of things for audio and video streaming. We're just gonna build a single page app to create a proof of concept in this video that we can build a voice channel app. To get it started, on the dashboard, you click on create a new project and then you will see this page and we're gonna give it a simple name. After we create the project, we're gonna select a theme, anything you like. And then do we need to enable web? Sure, uh, we're gonna deploy to web and for this project we don't need firebase okay now we are greeted uh, with the first page the next step will be to create a new account on agora.io so we're just gonna head on agora.io and create a new account it's going to be super simple and after you create your account you will be greeted with this dashboard as you can see i have some uh, sample projects from before but um, we're gonna build a new project for this app after the project is created we click on configure to redirect us to the dashboard on dashboard we will need to enter the name uh, it could be anything and also a category it doesn't matter for us and then we're gonna have to delete no certificate option uh, on their security tab and then we will be able to create our token from here we will need the app id and the token we generate to create the token uh, over here we just give it the channel name we will also need to save this channel name somewhere so don't lose it and copy the generated token to somewhere safe or keep the tab open and we can head back over here After we have the token, the app ID, and the channel name, we can go to the next step. The next step would be to create a custom widget. To do that, we need to head on to custom code, and then over here, click on add, and then create a new custom widget. And we give it a name. The name must be voice channel widget because it has to match what's on the code we are going to paste over here. To get the code, you can click on the GitHub link we have in the description and copy everything from there and paste it over here. Now that we have the code ready over here, we need to add a few things on the right side. Uh, first of all, uh, on the pop spec dependencies, we're gonna add Agora RTC Engine 5.3.0. The version name is super uh, important, so you can just copy it and paste it from the code. It's commented. And then uh, we're gonna have to add a few parameters. Under Define Parameters, we already have width and height. And then we're gonna add channel name, app ID, and token. Okay, now the hard part is finished. Now we just need to add a few buttons and actually use the widget we just created. So we're gonna speed through this part a bit. Okay, now that um, we have the two buttons, we need to create something called local page state variable. What is it? It helps us to dynamically show widgets, or in this case, the buttons. So we will create a variable called joint, and the type will be boolean. And because when you open the app, you're not gonna be in the channel, the default value will be false. 
Now that we have the local state, we can show the buttons based on the variable we just created. Under visibility, we're gonna enable conditional and then we're gonna search for joined because uh, the join button will be shown only if you are not in the channel already. We're gonna enable apply opposite statement. That way the button will be shown only if the join variable is false. Now we're going to do the same for leave button. The only difference will be that apply opposite statement will not be activated because we're going to show this button only if the user is joined. But I'm not done yet. <laughs> Got it. Just to make the app a bit more reasonable, we're gonna change the color of the leave button. And we have to add the widget we just created called voice channel widget. And then we have to fill channel name, app ID and token. Now that we have a field, app ID, channel name, and the token, these are super important. We have to conditionally show this widget because when the widget is visible, the user will be joined to the voice channel. So we only want to show this widget only if the joined variable is equal to true. Now uh, we have all the conditional visibility stuff ready. We're just gonna need to edit the action flow of join and leave button. So on join buttons and action flow, we're gonna update the page state to true. So the user is joined and we're gonna do the same for the leave button. On leave buttons action flow, we're gonna update the page state to false so that the voice channel widget we added is hidden so the user is not in the voice channel anymore. Now our app is finished and to test this super quick app, we can deploy it to web in a few clicks. This is one of the bonus points of using Flutterflow. It's super simple to deploy. Usually it's a whole headache to deploy your app. So to do that, head on to settings and under app settings, click on web publishing and we're gonna click on publish. Okay, the app is published. If we click on the link uh, which is shown over here, we can see our app live on the web. And to test it, you can open it on your phone and on your laptop or another phone. Remember, we need microphone permission to be allowed. Whenever you join it, the pop-up will come up and you have to allow the microphone permission. Ask for microphone. Great success! Thank you all for watching this quick tutorial to the end. On the next parts, uh, we can turn this project to a real app and even publish it. So just let me know what other features should be built first on the comments. And also, if you liked this video, please leave a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for the upcoming videos. We're gonna do a lot of these.